While it's blazingly hot outside, let's take another trip to Cool Dude Clem's Cool Electronic Workshop. Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, this is a little thing I'm working on. I've had decided to have another go at designing my own amplifier circuit, and I built a prototype here. This is an amplifier circuit that I've designed myself with no help from anybody, no schematics off the internet, nothing from any books. Completely my own design here. And I've got it wired up to this speaker. And my reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, which you can see there. Now it's not perfect at the moment, but it does work and it does sound pretty loud. I'll just play the reel-to-reel -reel and you'll, you can hear for yourself. In case you're wondering about the song, that's um, The Simpsons Sing the Blues, Bart and Lisa Sibling Rivalry, because that's about one of the only songs that won't put up a stupid ad on the video, so there we go. So now I'm going to talk about this for a bit more. Um, as you hear, the sound isn't perfect, there's a little bit of distortion, and I'm pretty sure it's just a biasing problem. And of course, because the fact I'm not using matching NPN and PNP transistors either, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the fact that I've actually built something, you know, an amplifier that actually does amplify on my previous attempt at building an amplifier from my own design with discrete components was a complete fail. It just didn't amplify very much at all. This one amplifies quite a lot. Now, let's just take a few voltage readings. Can you see the meter? No, you can't, can you? Because of the stupid camera. There we go. Now... Just going to take a little voltage reading of the supply voltage, which I think is 9 volts. Mm hmm, yep, 9 volts. This thing seems to work best on 9 volts. Now, the three diodes should give a 1.2 volt drop, so let's just see what we've got here. I'll just put the meter across the diodes and see. Okay, we've got 1.3 volts, so that's just about right. Now, I think the distortion on this thing is because it's not biased properly, the voltage at the speaker out should be about 4.5 volts, and if I just test this here, so on the meter it says 3.52, so that's possibly one of the causes of the distortion, that it's not, that I haven't got it exactly biased properly. Now, I'll just show you the amount of current it draws. This is one reason I'm really pleased with this thing because it's very, has a very small, you know, idle current or quiescent current or whatever you want to call it. Let's make sure nothing shorts out. Only 7.7 .7 milliamps when it's idle and when it plays music see it comes up a bit more and turn it down, turn it off again and you can see the voltage I mean the current drops back down again now, how about a schematic of this thing? Okay, here you see the circuit. I mean, now here you see the schematic of it. These are the two driver transistors. Got one NPN there and a PNP there. And there's a driver transistor. And this resistor here 
we'll set the bias. What I've actually got is two resistors. There's one 100k and a 47k. But what, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is just put a 100k here. And I've put the crosses through my zeros again. I do that sometimes. I forget it's not a computer, but anyway. I'm going to put another resistor here, a variable resistor. Again, 100k. So I should be able to set the voltage output here to half of the supply voltage, and it should sound much better. So anyway, so far I'm quite happy with this. I've noticed that neither of the transistors seem to get very hot. I mean, even when, I mean, this can drive the speaker pretty loud and the transistors don't even get warm, which is quite surprising considering I've used, you know, quite small transistors. Okay, well, it's a little while later now and I've made some modifications. I've put that 100k variable resistor in and I've changed this resistor to a 10k. And here you can see it in person. I've got it hooked up to my PSP. This is the resistor for adjusting the bias. And now let's play the PSP. I've got Music 2000 loaded up on this. And let's hear how it sounds. Okay, I have to shout over this because it is kind of loud. I'm just going to adjust the bias resistor here. Turning it this way, just sounds like a little bitty sound because we've got one transistor now over biased and the other one under biased. And if I turn it the other way, get the same sort of thing again. This time the other transistor is over biased and the other transistor is under biased. Turn it back so both transistors are biased properly. Okay, maybe something with distorted guitars in it probably wasn't the best thing to demonstrate the sound quality, but it's sounding really good. And neither, neither of these transistors seem to get hot, even though they're working pretty hard, so... I'm quite proud of that, and, well, I'll give you updates on how this is going, and, um, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>